Okay, so we're going to install our A kit on a standard, this is an ASC aluminum magazine. Uh, very simple install. These are probably one of the most common uh, magazines there are out there. So let's get started. So basically, this is your, uh, your A kit here. It has enough parts in it to do four magazines. Let's dump them all out here on the, on the table. And there you go. The washers are for installing on mag poles. So you wouldn't use the washers for the installation on a, uh, on a magazine. So every one of our kits comes with full color instructions. Tells you what to do. Uh, very simple to read. Uh, the tools that you need are also very simple. I'm going to put this guy off to the side and get one that's not all wrinkled so it's easy to show. So this is a square bottom magazine. So there's a couple of separate instructions here. The square bottoms and anything bigger than a 10 rounder uh, are the easiest to install. Because they're square bottom, the follower itself is not going to uh, interfere with the head of the screw on the inside. These are the lowest profile screws we could find uh, so that there is no interference with the follower. We have found in some cases that the angled bottom uh, 10 rounders uh, every once in a while do have a problem with the follower coming right down to that edge and interfering and the screw head interfering with the follower um, and sometimes requires a notch cut in it but uh, the best way to know is to go ahead and install your uh, UBBT on the magazine and as fully assemble it and try to test it putting 10 rounds in it. If that 10th round won't go in, then you do have to uh, come back in there and modify it with a notch or relieve it somehow. Um, but it's not that common. It, it doesn't really happen that often, but it does happen. So we, we have a, an instruction in there for that. All right, so let's get started. So basically, what we want to do is we want to take our 10 round magazine we just want to pop the bottom cover off so you take your little flat head screwdriver here just give it a little twist off it comes about halfway like that you don't need to take it all the way off and risk getting hit in the face by the spring so what we want to do is we're going to drill a hole right about a quarter of an inch above the bottom of the magazine right there in the center um, with the aluminum magazines, it's, they're really easy to drill, even through a spot uh, weld like you see here. Uh, even if you went all the way through the spot weld, you're, you're not going to damage the magazine. It's not going to hurt the structure of it. Um, the stainless steel ones are a completely different story. They require a really high quality drill bit, and you do definitely don't want to drill through the uh, the spot weld because the steel is even harder there than it is anywhere else. So you want to move it up a little bit to avoid drilling the spot weld and burning out your drill bit. So you can then you could potentially go through a lot of drill bits, but uh, it is it is possible uh, to get through them. So basically, we're going to take our drill and we're just going to find the center of the magazine you know it could be uh, doesn't have to be, it's not rocket science we want to make the hole as straight as we possibly can okay so we just drilled a hole pretty much in the center. Not perfect, but it'll work. Uh, the, rest is a, the rest is a cakewalk. All you do is you take your screw and you put it through the hole on the inside, hold it with your finger, grab one of your tips, put the tip on it, just like that. Grab your Phillips head screwdriver, hold just Hold it there at a little angle, just enough to keep it from spinning. Take your little quarter inch socket wrench. Tighten it on there nice and snug. Now these tips are glass filled nylon. They do not require any thread locker, but if you feel the need, you can put thread locker on it and it won't, uh, it won't eat the plastic, won't craze the plastic. These are super strong and the threads are really tight. It really doesn't need it, but if you do feel the need, you can. So that's basically it. We've got our tip on there. 
we snap the cap back on and there we go. We've got uh, one complete magazine.